Hey everybody, I'm about to go pick up some batteries and I want to settle some issues here. I had a, my previous video, um, below the video I put all the links to explain everything, but apparently that thing right there, I had to add that, cost. Cost. Let's break that down real quick and we'll go to the next part of the video. Alright, now we've swapped this out to represent better so people can really understand. And you guys are going like, there's no lead acid battery that can do 3,200. Well, you're wrong. Look up HUP1 Solar. And HUP1 Solar is still only about 350 an amp hour compared to that. So if you're going to have an RV, and you're going to have to buy two and a half of these for a grand total of about $2,200 to do the same process that two of these, 230 amp hour, can do. And if you, if you even degrade it, you're still drastically cheaper. So what we're talking about here is one singular 100 amp hour battery that's LiPo. That one battery is nine dollars and fifty cents an amp hour per amp hour I'm proud if you got them good great don't got nothing against it and i fear the electronics in them pacific trade organization says the chinese electronics that's what those are made from boom chinese electronics i don't care if they're assembled in america chinese electronics and if you call that racist well you know what you've thrown a bunch of it in the garbage so quit your bitching now if you look at the average 950 per amp hour versus it takes it does take two of these to make a 12 volt battery two at six volts 125 dollars a piece 250 dollars even at 50 percent dod depth of discharge running her down halfway and you still get at two dollars and 20 cents per amp hour Now, that's your choice. Make your choice, but I'm going to stick with lead acid. Let's go look at what I've got. Um, I'm going on my way down here in a few minutes to go pick up a load of batteries. Let's take a look. Hey, everybody. We're on our way down to Batteries Plus, and look below the video. I put a link to where these come from. Pay attention. Now, my last video, a lot of people got real pissed because I said, hey, man, I'd rather have these than lithium, lipo, lithium iron phosphate I'd rather have these and there's a reason for it two of these batteries to make 235 amp hour at 12 volt is only two dollars and 25 cents an amp hour their batteries 900 to to a thousand dollars for a hundred amp hour battery one runs about nine dollars an amp hour you do the decision these batteries right here they've been in this man's place for a long time I'll show you this stay tuned Seven of 12, seven of 12. Let's see if they got it anywhere else on these. Seven of 12. I don't know if you can read that one. So these were installed seven and a half years ago, used constantly, and he didn't have enough. So he kind of overdid it on them. So we're going to be replacing with eight and I've grabbed a couple of up, a couple of old ones to bring. So let me hook this up and I'll show you what I mean. Seven and a half year old batteries. And they're a little low on water right now. He kind of gave up on them. So let me hook this up. There you go. Look at that. Get that away from there. It's getting hot. A little curl of smoke off of that. Look at that. Now you tell me. Is a seven and a half year old battery gonna do that? How many cycles did that do? All he had was, I think he had 2000 watts of solar on this and a wind turbine. So these are going back down near Jarbridge, Nevada. New ones, the new ones are. Stay tuned, we're gonna get you some more information on it. So let's get these the distance up to uh, where we're going to the store and take a look at the store. Let's go do a tour of Batteries Plus. Why not? All right, we have now made it to the store and I picked up my two helpers. Hi everybody. And we've got the truck. We're at the back of the store, so let's head around to the front. Okay, our new Twin Falls store. We've got a brand new store, and it is a Batteries Plus. 
So let's head in here and talk to Mr. Rick. All right, perfect. All right, this is my batteries plus, and these are. This is Ricky Rocky. All right, so guys, I want y'all to take a look at my store. This guy sold his entire farm to do this, but I tell you what, I'm so glad I can't stand it. This is a batteries plus loaded to the gills, and you know what? You got that goofy little key fob battery you can't find? That's how you find it. You come here. Very nice. Very nice. We fix it. You see that? That's how you got to think. All right. So, Ricky's got a load for me here. I do. Eight batteries. Where were that? They're in the back. All right. Now, what y'all going to find out about Batteries Plus is that if it ain't fresh, they get rid of it. That's why we come here. All right, so this man's batteries, brand new, high consistency, and that's what we're after. So we've got the truck right here in the back now, Beautiful. and the old ones. And we're going to uh, bring in our gear and show you guys why we buy them here. So stay tuned. Okay, while Ricky and Rocky are loading batteries on, trust me, you don't have to do that when you come here. We're going to run over here, and we're going to break out our OPC kit that we use for testing batteries. So you saw that in the beginning. All right, let's get a bolt pull on them. Just pick a random battery, doesn't matter. And we're going to do a hydrometer test on it. Full pull. Nice and pretty. All right. And you can see on these batteries here, you want to make sure that if you use a battery venting system, that you make sure you get an idea of your depth of your acid in these batteries. So. We'll just do a random, there we go. So they're all looking about the same right inside of the 1258, 1260, 1260 range, perfect. You make sure that you isolate these after y'all use them, guys. All right, Daniel, you wanna take out the restroom around the corner and get a rinse out on it? Now, the East Penn manufactured battery, the lifespan of it compared to a Johnson Controls or even a US bat is about 60% longer. Cost is about 5% more. You do the math. You don't have to be brilliant to figure that one out. So let's just pull over here and you see these come with all their gear. A lot of them don't, believe it or not. And we will just do a random pull on a battery. There we go, Ricky, grab that over there on the positive for us. And you look at these. So they're running right at about 6.2. All right, Daniel, hold the end of that for me. All right, and we're going to do a draw on them. You look at that thing in there glowing, starting to glow. Look at that. Now I'm going up to 10 seconds on this. Ain't made a dent. All right, now that's the thing you got to look for. If you walk into Walmart and you test one of their batteries, or Napa, and you test one of their batteries. Now, some of their batteries are XI, they're decent, but if you test their batteries and that needle drops and then don't return to spec, avoid that battery. I don't have to worry about with this because seven and a half years, proof is in the product, okay? All right, guys, how long y'all been in business now? Since October 21st. October 21st, the Twin Falls store went in. This is their private area back here, uh, offices, and this is their display backer right here. And look, every kind of battery you can imagine, man. Even these monsters here. Batteries Plus carries everything. Do y'all pay me a nickel? Nope. Do I buy from y'all guys? Yes, sir, you do. <laughs> yes, I do. And I do it because if I'm going to warranty a solar install, I don't need nobody calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning about their lights being out. All right, we're going to get those back to shop, make their bus bars, and get them installed. You guys... Y'all shop at the Batteries Plus. I do, and I've got good results. There's another customer's proof right there.